Now, ISIS is a terrorist organization that actually staked out its territory, Syria and Iraq. Those cockroaches might be removed from the land, but the caliphate is not removed from their cutthroat hearts. In other words, their foothold may be gone, but their mission is still there. Joining me now, the founder of the American Truth Project and Daily Ledger contributor, Barry Newsbaum. Barry, these uh, caliphate, wacko, crazy killers are going down with a fight. And they released this image of this uh, one of the terrorists, one of the murderers, um, photoshopped in the front. And in the, ba in the background, there's an image of a building exploding in Los Angeles, a skyscraper. So this is a reminder that you can take away the land but you can't necessarily take away the threat ever. Yeah, Graham, that is an astoundingly astute point. Uh, the former head of uh, the Israeli military intelligence unit and research bureau issued a statement, uh, a fairly long report this morning, stating exactly the th same thing as Graham Ledger just did, which is the territory is not the scary part. The scary part is, as he called it, cells all over the world and he says to expect terror everywhere because the cells were established when they had a headquarters and now they've gone virtual so the last mile or two of territory symbolically being lost in syria is largely irrelevant to declare victory over these salafist killers is really the wrong thing to do the battle is now going to move into the civilized West, especially this former intelligence head says, into Europe proper and possibly as well to the United States. Very true words. Uh, and, you know, a lot of people don't realize it doesn't make the papers, it doesn't make the headlines, doesn't make the national news often. But since the first of the year, there's been more than 100 terrorist attacks around the country, of course, from the, the Islamic nutcases and the cutthroats uh, involved in this caliphate and other um, killers out there that, that want to destroy uh, our way of life and, and freedom-loving people around the world. Uh, Ruth Bader Ginsburg, RBG. Um, apparently, um, the death of Ruth Bader Ginsburg was uh, slightly premature. The notorious RBG lives. It reminds me of that Monty Python skit from about 40 years ago, where they're rounding up the dead and as they collect them, the one guy's yelling, I'm not dead yet. <laughs> that is Ruth Bader Ginsburg. <laughs> no matter what happens to her, she keeps coming back. And uh, she's literally fulfilling a promise and an expectation of the progressive wing of the Democrat Party, which is, please do whatever it takes to hold on to 2020 with the prayer that Donald Trump loses the White House and the next nomination comes to the Judiciary Committee from the Democrats uh, out of the White House instead of the Republicans out of the White House. And that is what the prayer is on the left wing today. And it just to be clear, we wish her no uh, harm, no ill will whatsoever. But she is the poster child for term limits in the United States Supreme Court. And I firmly believe we need term limits in the United States Supreme Court. Meantime, there's zero evidence, absolutely zero evidence of any collusion between the Trump campaign and Russia. But you'd never know it if you watch the mainstream media and, and the nightly news. Yeah, incredible news out today that um, Media Research Council has come up with 2,200 minutes of the big three networks covering collusion with Russian stories between Donald Trump's White House and some unnamed or numerous named groups in Russia uh, to the point where he's convicted and on his way to prison. And yet, after a two-year investigation by uh, hired professionals from the Senate, uh, they came up with, get this, no collusion evidence, nothing even to run down, and nothing to further investigate. And the shocking, wink, wink, news is it never got reported across mainstream media. So 2,200 minutes of coverage that there is collusion until there wasn't any, and under one minute, literally under one minute of announcement that the Senate couldn't find anything. In other words, it's not the news that those networks want to broadcast. And so, Graham, that news does not exist. We now look forward to 
uh, the special counsel's report and how that will be treated if and when it is ever released. And somewhere out there in Washington, D.C. or on uh, someplace in Hawaii or I don't know where, Barack Obama has his big feet up on a desk. He's smoking a cigar. He's lighting it up and he's just laughing away because he knows where the real Russia collusion was. And he and his administration was the epicenter of it. Barry, thanks.